Good Monday, Cup of Sales Joe. How many of you, like I used to, believe that what we do on Tuesday at 10 a.m. with our work matters more than what we do, say, on Friday at 4.30 or Saturday at 2.30? Within the context of the modern working world of the so-called 9 to 5, which has been upturned with work from home in various ways, including working more than we used to, just because there isn't a defined line of commuting or leaving work at work. It now may bleed and blend into our non-work lives. But let's stick with the idea that work has its place and the rest of our life has its place. What do you do, what you want to, and when do you do it? And is that a choice you made, or is it something you are handed? Is it a belief that a certain schedule will produce better results than another? Or are we living out a script of someone else's writing? When you then add in whatever other things influence our work and our schedules, such as energy levels and other responsibilities, the demand for our services, and other factors, it becomes silly to think that there is only one right way to work a schedule or to schedule your work. This is important, though, because maybe you're the type of person that thrives when others struggle. Or maybe you are working within a construct that is already not bringing out your best. Hey, Cup of Sales Joe. Look, of all the different ways that I center myself, connect with my consciousness, and bring out the best in me, there's lots of different ways, and uh, you'll hear those in my messages. But one of the best is coffee, believe it or not. And the reason is, is because I've experienced great coffee. And where did I find that? At Mad Goat Coffee. To help you, Sam the owner, who educated me and turned me on to this great channel for connecting with the best of me, you can find it at madgoatcoffee.com. Now, what you'll find there is lots of cool stuff. First of all, you can find some cool mugs or coffee cups that you can give as presents or use yourself. There's also some very cool swag with their cool logos, and they're always coming out with new apparel. And then there's the coffee. Whether you like light roast, medium roast, dark roast, natural, washed, and they're even innovating and bringing in different coffees all the time. So visit madgoatcoffee.com. And then when you're going to check out, use code CSJ and you can save yourself 10% on your order. Tam's been kind enough to bring me the best coffee that I've ever found. And I hope you can take advantage of this as well. So madgoatcoffee.com discount code CSJ save yourself 10% now there are some foundational time constructs that will guide our schedules such as availability of partners colleagues and clients it does no good to plan a meeting with someone that can never happen on their schedule but beyond that I want to talk more about our own relationship with the environment of time. In other words, how does the way the world handles time enhance or restrict what we do and how successful we are? I recall hearing Tim Ferriss, author of The 4-Hour Work Week and The 4-Hour Body and many other books similar to that. I remember him saying that when he was working in telemarketing, he was below average in performance. So he looked at the top performers and even in the middle performers, he saw that by conventional wisdom, they made a majority of their calls between the hours of 9 and 11 a.m. and 2 to 4 p.m. Knowing that he couldn't beat them by doing what they did, he decided to instead make virtually all of his calls between 7 and 9 a.m. The result was that he got a hold of the people the others were missing, 
or maybe the same people but got them before the others could and actually outperformed everyone else by far. The takeaway? Don't do what everyone else is doing if you want to produce something different. Think differently. Or maybe think differently than you have previously to outperform what you've done previously. In fact, working counter to conventional wisdom can yield some unique and profound results. By the way, if you would like to know why the musical inspiration today is what it is, it is an instrumental classic called Classical Gas, written and performed by Mason Williams, originally debuted in 1968. If you are not familiar with it, it was at one time the most performed and broadcasted classical piece in the world. But the creation of it fits our lesson today. Mason Williams was originally a writer on the comedy special the Smother Brothers Comedy Hour. One of the biggest reasons for the success of the show was that they highlighted musical artists against the wishes of their network at the time, CBS. CBS wanted only pop artists and already established acts. The show instead wanted to show music before it was famous, which provided breaks for some incredible bands and artists that we know today, which include Mason Williams, Jimi Hendrix, and Randy Newman. So, Classical Gas was a symbol of at least musically, on television, the growing counter culture. Likewise, we can open great opportunity by thinking counter to traditional thinking about time. As a writer, I realize both the value of inspiration and ideas, which can come any time. In fact, today's message came to me one weekend whilst doing laundry. And I also recognize that forcing myself into blocks of time to write and produce material and content is mandatory to what I do. So in regards to time, I am both open to it and where it takes me, but also in controlling it when I need to. Why is Monday when I release this message? Because as part of the modern work world, it is when we are typically most optimistic and open-minded and seeking direction and guidance. It's a new beginning. I invite you to think differently if you are looking to go to your next level. Can you have or create a new beginning anytime? Yes. Could Friday at 2 p.m.? Instead of being wind down time, be launch my next great effort time? And why would a single time seemingly feel, in those two instances, so different to us? In fact, and please follow me here, if we think differently and are committed to our goals, time really is irrelevant. In other words, sometimes time is testing our level of commitment by making it tough. For example, let's say you want to begin a new fitness regimen or lose weight. The holidays are typically the hardest time to do this. There are many opportunities and factors working against us, including weather, family obligations, lots of opportunities to overindulge from Halloween candy to New Year's parties and everything in between. But what if we reverse that thinking? What would it mean if we were able to sustain a strict and effective nutrition and activity plan through the holidays, when it's the hardest? What would that mean in terms of showing your commitment and that you can do it during that time? Because if you can, then you can do it anytime. Think about what starting that way would do for your strength and your perseverance. If you can, in fact, show your deep dedication to this goal, instead of using these times to excuse less than strong conviction in what you're doing.
Now, I cannot tell you what type of schedule works best for you. You can research your chronotype, look at your circadian rhythms, dissect your biorhythms. But in the end, the things that go on around us are secondary to what we want and we are committed to accomplishing. Time is going to pass whether you feel like relaxing or you feel like working harder. And that decision is entirely and utterly yours and only yours. So while I call the Monday musical message, the truth is, I've gotten feedback from plenty of people that listen to this at all different times. The middle of the week, a tough afternoon, even on the weekends. Because the truth is that we are all different. And maybe trying to force yourself, like a square peg into a round hole, isn't your best path forward. But instead, it's forging your own path once you know what you want and you are committed to it. Then, time will work with you and for you instead of it telling you what to do. And that is true personal power. So no matter when you are listening to this, I hope you make a great week ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, look, maybe you connected with this song that you've heard it before, or you're just hearing it for the first time. Would you like to hear more? How about more about the actual message? That time isn't the factor we think it is, and if it is, is it's ours to control? Then join me for another cup on my YouTube channel, Cup of Sales Joe.